Orion Client is updated to 1.21. To get Orion, you want to head over to their official GitHub page, which is going to be linked down in the description below. Here you'll be brought to the tags area instead of the releases area. Anyways, before I get into that, down in the description also is actually the link to my Discord server, and I greatly appreciate it if you could join that, because you can find stuff like Borion there as well as many other clients. Anyways, here in the tags area, you want to click on the top tag that says 1.21. As you can see, this isn't available in releases yet because it is in betas still, which means that you could experience crash issues. If you're experiencing a bunch of crash issues, then I recommend just switching to Horion for the time being, since in my opinion, Horion is also better. Anyways, here under the assets part, you want to download the Borion.dll simply by clicking on it like so. As you can see, I have now started up Minecraft and I have Borion here as well. But Borion is a DLL file, which means we need the program to inject it. I highly recommend Fade Client Injector, which I'm also going to be using for this video. If you don't have it yet or you're not sure how to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, with the Fade Client Injector, you can simply click on Inj Select right over here. Then I'm going to go to my Downloads and grab the Borion DLL. Once I have selected that, I can click on Inject just like so. And as you can see, Borion is now injected, which is great. Now I'm just going to go into a Minecraft world and I'll show you how to use it. So here I am in Minecraft and you won't see it on my screen just yet. But when I press on the Insert button over here, we will get the click GUI. If you don't have an insert button on your keyboard or you want to change that, you want to open up the chat, type in dot bind just like so, then click GUI like this, and then any key you want. For example, F. Now as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is F, which means every time I press on F, I will open or close the click GUI. Now I will briefly show you how to use this client. If you want a full in-depth tutorial on how to use Orion, then I will link that down in the description below. But right now, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get started. Anyways, getting right in, as I said, this right here is the click GUI. You can click on the modules to enable them and click on them once again to disable them. As you can see, they're going to be highlighted a little bit once they have been enabled. All of the utilities that have a plus, you can actually right click on and you'll get a little bit of a customization menu as you can see. Now I'm guessing this was just because I'm using the beta, but often you'll actually have stuff showing up on your screen by default. For example, the HUD and for maybe the client theme as well. As you can see, we now have a bunch of things on our screen, and this is what it might usually look like when you use it for the first time. If these aren't on by you, on for you by default, you can of course turn them on by clicking on the HUD over there. You can actually also customize the HUD to choose what to and what not to show. I have all the defaults over here, and I'll show you what they do. We have a watermark, these keypads as you can see, and then we have some general world information and in the very top left corner we have something called a tab GUI. What the tab GUI allows us to do is to access this click GUI but with the arrow keys on your keyboard. As you can see, works a little bit like this. Some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I don't use it and so I'm going to just turn that all off again and now as you can see, it's all gone. But of course, I can still access this area, right? Anyways, I think I forgot to mention it, but it's pretty obvious that in the bottom left corner, you'll get a brief description of whatever utility you're hovering over, as you can see. Anyways, as it also says over here, you can scroll in the categories with many modules. Don't look over that, because that's the way that people miss stuff. Anyways basically that. Um, closing up this, that wasn't actually all. I can go into the chat over here and you'll know that I typed a command earlier. I can type dot help just like so and that's going to give me a list of all of the commands that this client has. 
I know all of you are going to be asking this. No, sadly, the commands still do not all work for multiplayer or realms yet. That's also probably never going to get fixed. If you're wondering why, well, I'll, have, I'll link a full video I made specifically on that in the description below. Anyways, here you'll see all of the commands that this client offers with the prefix of a dot instead of the regular slash, the ones we have in normal Minecraft. Anyways, you'll get a brief description as well, but let's say you don't know how to use one of the commands. I'll take the bind command as an example. I can simply type in dot bind in the chat and then it'll tell me the exact usage of this command, which of course is great. Anyways, for right now, that was basically that. Remember, there's an in-depth tutorial on how to use Borion down in the description below. And down there, I'm also going to be linking Horion for the ones of you who prefer that client. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.